the study looked at uh, gender differences in terms of risk stratification using stress test database. And for years, we've used Duke treadmill score for both men and women. But as most physicians know, Duke treadmill score was developed in women, uh, developed in men, long time ago, validated in men, but really not well validated in women. And so we wanted to know now that we have so much information about heart rate recovery, chronotropic incompetence, whether we can develop a risk score that better risk stratifies. Uh, both men and women using a stress test database. So we use around 60,000 patients at the Cleveland Clinic undergoing stress test. We validate it with a, around 49,000 patients in Henry Ford stress test database. And we were able to come up with a, a risk score that actually risk stratifies both men and women much better than currently accepted uh, risk scores like Duke treadmill score, the Lauer nom nomogram, and sort of the other various stress test tools that are out there. It is a better risk predictor for high-risk patients uh, in terms of uh, having major adverse cardiac event death um, in both men and women. So we are very excited about our findings. The beauty of our database is that it's been validated in Henry Ford database, which is a, a different group of patients than even the ones at the Cleveland Clinic. So that actually gives uh, more credibility to our stress uh, test finding. It's validated in both men and women and in different ethnicities. So that's actually very rewarding. Um, and hopefully it'll be validated in other countries using other uh, nationalities. But I think the most important thing is, is this is a simple, easy tool. You already have this sort of information within the stress test that we're doing. It's something we can uh, plug in. You can go to a website that uh, we have at the Cleveland Clinic, plug it in, it's completely free, and better risk stratify patients. So those people who are at higher risk, we can do more aggressive risk factor modification, like perhaps controlling their blood pressure or controlling their cholesterol or controlling their diabetes. Um, and if they're at lower risk, then we can mod modify their uh, medical treatment so that you know they're at appropriate treatment for their risk stratification.